Yeah, that, that's pretty straightforward. I mean, um, the point of the, the presentation today is to talk about how do you begin introducing technologies into what is otherwise a business or product opportunity portfolio. And of course, business and product opportunities can be valued relatively straightforward, either using NPV or even option approaches. They have revenues, they have operating earnings. Well, how then do you place technologies into the same portfolio so that they can be compared one to another? So at a senior management level, you have the horizon of uh, investment choices from technologies to businesses to products. And so the trick is to look at technologies perhaps in a way differently than we have in the past. And so we've been quite successful in this preliminary version of this uh, portfolio, the innovation portfolio, about being able to weave technologies right directly into the portfolio system itself and make them comparable to business and product opportunities. And one of the ways that we do that is by looking at some of the features that come off of technology innovation. And they might be cost savings, they might be uh, unit costs that are reduced, they might be increased performance. And these sorts of features actually play out along a demand curve. So we're looking really at how a demand curve is essentially reshaped by adding technologies to it. And by seeing how that reshaping about the demand curve changes, we can now begin to look at their value that they contribute to an overall set of business or product opportunities. And that's the way that we now begin integrating the value of the technologies together with business and product opportunities. Well, um, I, I create the portfolio. I, I design the architecture for this. I don't really manage it, and it requires um, somebody a very um, strong will to actually manage the portfolio. But the creating part, um, I can comment on. Um, the portfolio is designed so that the rules are quite simple. We need that because many people have a role that they play in either putting data in or interpreting the outputs or actually in this case actually managing the portfolio. So the rules have to be simple for that in order to work across a corporation as large as Boeing. But what happens inside the system is that it's a very um, complex and even emergent type of process that goes along. Um, so the creation of the portfolio system has to be able to take these simple set of rules make them visible to the users, but inside, contained within, the um, behavior of the system, this complex emergent behavior, needs to be managed in some way. And so it's this idea about, well, how do you interpret complex emergent behavior without confusing those people who are the users? And so we've developed some very nice means to sort of elicit some of the artifacts that come out of the system, out of this complex emergent behavior, and tie it to the actual process, the management process of the portfolio. So the end result is the input into the portfolio are strategic issues, inputs and so on like that. What comes out of the portfolio are aids to help make decisions about investments and strategies. But the actual management of the portfolio itself is, is tactical. It's tactical because it's a lot easier for managers and those who use the system to think much more tactically, much more near term. What can we do this next period? What do we have to do next? And so on like that. So the upshot is that the management of the portfolio is quite technical. It, it even gets kind of a, a tact or a rhythm to, to how it operates. But the portfolio itself is helping to make these great strategic decisions. And so um, that's, that's part of the, the work that I did.